Hello friends, welcome to Pharmacology Insider by Dr. Nilay Solanki. Today we are going to discuss about pharmacology of antipsychotic drugs. So let us first discuss about the condition, the pathophysiology of schizophrenia and the antipsychotic drug targets. This schizophrenia, it is a condition related with the central nervous system where there is an involvement of several important pathways especially the mesolimbic and the mesocortical pathways of the brain. In this condition, the symptoms associated are delusion, hallucination that we will discuss later on. Now, here the increase in the dopamine content that is the major part of the pathophysiology of schizophrenia. Along with that, in the prefrontal cortex, there is a reduced blood flow and the glucose uptake is observed, which is ultimately deal with reduction in the GABA and the glutamate content. So these are the two important neurotransmitters. Their level is reduced in this condition. And there is an important role of the limbic system also. So, overall, this mesolimbic and mesocortical pathways which are directly involved in the pathophysiology of the schizophrenia and where there is an increase in the level of the dopamine. Now, in the neurohemoral transmission during the pathophysiology, this dopamine which is synthesized from the tyrosine and ultimately it is stored in the vesicles of the neuron and when the release in the synaptic area at the D2 receptor site most of the dopamine which is reuptake back and ultimately the level is increased in the mesolimbic pathways of the brain. Now as a result of that there are different symptoms associated like positive symptoms as delusion, hallucination, thought disorders, abnormality, disorganized behavior, motor activity without purpose and negative symptoms are lack of motivation and lack of emotions are observed. Now on these different targets, the different antipsychotic drugs they are acting on. The first important target that is dopamine storage. So here reserpine it blocks the overall storage of the dopamine in the neurons and as a result of that it improves the positive and the negative symptom associated with the schizophrenia. While in case of the second target where there is free receptor are reduced with the help of phenothiazine and haloperidol. So these are the two drugs which are acting on the D2 receptor site. Then now we are going to discuss about the pharmacological classification of the antipsychotic drugs. It is divided into two class of drugs first generation and second generation. First generation drugs they are generally called as a typical conventional class of drugs where it is divided into low potency and high potency class of the drug. So in low potency chlorpromazine and thioridazine is there. In high potency haloperidol, flufenazine, flupantixol and clopantixol are there. In second generation drugs a typical antipsychotic drug where clozapine, resperidone, certindol, quetiapine, amisulpiride, eripiprazole, zotepine and zipresidon is there. Okay. Then now we are going to discuss about the mechanism of chlorpromazine. So as we have already seen in schizophrenia that the dopaminergic neurons which releases the dopamine at the synaptic area and this chlorpromazine it produces its dopamine receptor blocking activity by acting on the D2 receptor. So whenever the dopamine is released at the particular site and 
as a result of that when this anti psychotic drug first generation chlorpromazine binds to the d2 receptor and ultimately the free receptors are occupied by this drug and as a result of that d2 receptors are blocked and there is a decrease in the intracellular response occurred now here the adenylyl cyclase is involved which is mainly responsible for the conversion of adenine triphosphate to cyclic adenosine monophosphate that is CAMP so this is overall mechanism of chlorpromazine now we are moving towards the receptor based activity of antipsychotic drugs which is the main part of the pharmacology now there are different receptor affinities for this antipsychotic drug along with the major side effect profiles now this chlorpromazine it acts on the different types of receptor starting from d1 d2 alpha 1 h1 muscarinic receptor 5 st2 so these are the list of receptors which are mentioned here and positive sign indicates that they have a higher affinity towards the specific receptor so chlorpromazine it is having a higher affinity towards d2 alpha 1 and 5 st2 a receptor so as a response of that the main side effect associated with the chlorpromazine that is extra pyramidal symptoms sedation and hypotension while the other drug haloperidol which is having a high potency first generation drug it is also targeting d2 receptor so all the first generation drugs they target the d2 receptor mainly while this haloperidol they also target the alpha 1 receptor and as a response of that it do have the eps side effects and less sedation and hypotension is also there while the second generation drugs like clozapine which is having a lesser eps side effect that is because of they have the multiple target activity spread over so they do act on d1 receptor d2 receptor but they are predominant on alpha 1 h1 and muscarinic receptor as well as 5 st2 so as a result of that the lesser eps side effect of clozapine while they do produce sedation and hypotension while the other second generation drugs like risperidone they do mainly act on d2 alpha 1 and h1 receptor plus they are predominantly acting on 5 st2 a receptor so they do have a less eps side effect along with that sedation and hypotension is there now the next drug is quetiapine which is specially acting on the alpha 1 receptor h1 muscarinic receptor and 5 st2 a but here the main advantage is there they do not have any eps side effects only sedation and hypotension is observed while the zotapine is a newer class of the drug which is having affinity towards d1 more affinity towards d2 alpha 1 h1 and 5 st2 a so here they have a less or no eps side effects no hypotension only sedation is observed as a main side effect so overall the major side effect profile associated with first generation class of the antipsychotic drugs they are mentioned as follows they are extra pyramidal motor disturbances like acute dystonias where restlessness muscle spasm is observed and protruding of the tongue and the tardy dyskinesia which is considered as a eps and the next important side effect that is increased prolactin level and anticholinergic side effects also etc so this is overall receptor based activity of antipsychotic drug thank you all please do like and share and subscribe pharmacology insider thank you